Hey guys, it's Pookus, and in this video, I wanted to go over a newly designed AFK farm that is probably the most reliable right now. Ever since I made my Unbreakable AFK farm video, I got a whole ton of support, but also many suggestions on what to improve on in the AFK grinder. If building an AFK farm was ever hard for you, I try to go as much in depth in this video as possible so there can be no misunderstandings. First, let's just begin with all the features that are different and similar with this AFK farm and the Unbreakable AFK farm 1.0. Now the first thing about the Unbreakable AFK farm 1.0 was that it would actually break if a new stage loaded in. Now basically new stages load in like every like 30 minutes so then it could give fresh new chests, loot, and more. As you can see there's a new stage that just loaded in right there and this thing hasn't broke because it's not actually in the black wall and basically what Chilter has done is if your AFK grinder is in the black wall it can basically just tech that it's an afk grinder and he'll actually try to stop it and it will just detach the afk grinder at that spot at the black wall but with this afk farm it's off to the side so it's not detected in shelter's afk grinder protection but um when a new stage loads it's not actually detecting it so it will be perfectly fine just sitting right here now the second thing that you guys have said in the comments is that it actually takes super long to load so basically it would take 10 minutes in a normal public server if you don't have instant load on in a vip server and it'll take super long to load so i'm actually just gonna show you guys um how long this one will take to load in setup so let me just jump over here and there we go so if i clear all i'm just clear all and i'm just try loading this in so it's right here and we're just gonna set it up as you can see insta load is off and it basically already loaded in after five seconds basically now something crazy about the last afk grinder was that it only took about like 150 blocks because it was scaled really tiny now with this thing it actually does the same so before duping you guys will actually need like about 50 blocks because it's actually really crazy so um this afk grinder uses 0.2 skill tool because it will actually never break there's no stage that can actually break it as you guys know there's a laser beam stage where the actual pixel arcade stage actually lasers you which will eventually tear down your afk grinder again this is not a problem with this afk grinder and nothing will actually hit it anyways as i was mentioning earlier this thing only takes about 50 blocks at the start this is one segment right here and there we go so i'm just going to be demonstrating right here as you guys can see i have 17,765 blocks if i put my skill into 0 0.2 and skill it in and let's actually scale it, make it a little wider and scale it to that same length. So I'm just scale it right here. And there we go. I have 17,719. So if you do the math, then it's about 50 blocks or 40 blocks. Now, a third thing that you guys have also said in the comments was that the conveyor always brings you to the left or to the right. Now, the problem is that your ice blocks were not wide enough or at all. So basically, you guys would put your skill into zero and just try to make your thing and it would end up like this and then you guys just place the thruster not like how i did it in the video also your guys's conveyors would actually be right up front instead of being at the back where it should be to make it go fast it would be really sh uh, short and stubby or it'd be really long and skinny so it'd either be this and that would be your thing or it'd be this which is really cringe so basically for this afk grinder i actually simplified the conveyor i'm gonna be showing you guys in this tutorial how to make a jet conveyor now you guys don't have to use the purple jet it just makes it faster you guys can also use the red jet it'll just be a little slower but anyways that's your option if you don't have enough robux it's a really good option though if you guys don't know how to make a thruster conveyor anyways enough is said so let's actually hop into the tutorial so the first thing that you guys want to do is actually go to white team because we want to actually center the wheel when we actually build it. So the first thing you want to do is actually get your wheel right here and then place it right here, right in the center of here and leave a tiny little gap. By the way, put your merging level onto red. Then get a plastic block and put your move on to 0.5 and then get it right in the center. As you guys can see, this is right in the center. So what you guys want to do is move up three times. So one, two, three three and then place it right there now what you guys want to do is scale this plastic block to 108 studs so we're gonna scale it right over here and we're just gonna scale it until 108 like this now what you guys want to do is put your move back to one and place a um, wheel right here and place it halfway like this then we're gonna be getting a light bulb so I'm gonna get it right here and we're just gonna place it inside the wheel and we're just gonna place it like this as you guys can see, it is not sticking out, but it's actually inside the wheel. By the way, credits to Ugray for this actual spawn capture, so links to him in the description. Go check out his video. 
Now go ahead and get a portal and go ahead and place it on the outer edge like this. And then we just wanna do is just paint it white. So then later on, we're just gonna be placing another portal that's painted white. Now we're gonna be using our screwdriver tool. So go ahead and select all and then put your wheel torque onto green. And then we just wanna do is select this wheel on the bottom and put your wheel speed onto five like this. Now go ahead and select all and collision off. Okay, now that you've done that, Go ahead and get a switch and we're just going to be placing it right over here and there we go. Now feel free to save this so I'm going to just save it right here and we're just going to save it and there we go. Now after you saved we're actually going to be making the bridge. So again you guys will only need about 50 blocks. Go ahead and place a rod on the bottom. Go ahead and get a titanium block and go ahead and scale it. Put your scale onto 0.5, scale it in two times like that. Then put your scale onto 0.2 and scale it all the way in like this. Then what you guys want to do is put your scale onto 1 and then scale it out until it's 20 studs. So right here is 24, so I'm just going to make it 20. And there we go. And make sure the dot is in the center. This middle dot is in the center of the rod. And there we go. So now what you guys want to do is put your scale onto 98. And basically we're just going to scale this all the way to the top like this. Now, just paint it any color you want. I'm going to paint mine gray. And you have to do this before you actually start duping. And there we go. So now what you guys want to do is actually go ahead and get a seat. I'm going to place it right in the middle, right here. And there we go. Then what you guys want to do is select this build with your um, scale tool. And go ahead and center your cursor right here. Place a seat right there. And there we go. As you can see, it's right in the center like this. Now, I don't want you to do the tutorial wrong, so go ahead and actually place a block right here and, th and then just scale it all the way up. So I'm just going to scale it all the way up and just make sure it's centered with the bottom seat. And there we go. As you guys can see, this block is centered to the center seat. So then, yep, just check it. And if it's not, then your duping is going to be crooked. Now, after you checked, go ahead and get a portal and place it right here like this. And go ahead and place it on top of the seat. Tilt one time and place it right in the center like that. Now, just go ahead and save and we're just going to be getting right into duping. By the way, you guys will only be needing 50 blocks. If you're wondering, duping basically makes it so then if you don't have enough blocks, you can actually get more. And, but you will also be in the negatives, but don't worry about that. So now the best team to actually dupe it in is purple or yellow team because it's closest to the waterfall, which is where we need to get to. So you can switch to like magenta team. So we're just going to switch over here. We're gonna reload it like this. And then what you guys wanna do is go ahead and sit in the seat. So I'm gonna just sit in it right here, just like this. Now go ahead and get a cake and place it halfway in your body like this. Basically, we're just doing a duping glitch. So get your hinge now and go ahead and place one right here, one on the top and one right there. Then delete the seat, delete the rod, um, select all with your screwdriver tool and unanchor. Now, you guys can also eat a candy. A candy is not required. So anyways, just the candy will make it faster. But if you don't have a candy, then don't worry. So now the controls on this thing is you can just hold space to go forward like that. Now you can go in first person like this and turn around and go up and down like that. And then you guys can just go right here. And once you're past this waterfall right here, you guys can actually reload your thing like this. Now after you reloaded it, go ahead and go in first person and go actually back to your plot. And as you guys can see, it's a short distance because um, the magenta team is really close. Now just go ahead and delete the bottom hinge, the top hinge, and then delete this middle hinge. Then you just wanna walk into the portal facing this way and just walk into it, and there we go. As you can see, we did our first dupe. So now what you guys wanna do is go ahead and select all with your screwdriver tool and anchor. After you anchored, go ahead and delete the portal, delete the cake, and delete the seat, and there you go. Now go ahead and actually save this thing, and there we go. Reload it, and we're just gonna be duping this in total of seven times. So just get that in your head, we're gonna be duping this seven times. So this was our first time duping it, so we have six more times to go. So I'm just gonna be demonstrating it one more time on how to dupe it, and then you guys are on your own on this one. So go ahead and go in the seat, get a cake, and place it halfway in your body like that. Then go ahead and get a hinge. So I'm going to get my hinge right over here. Place it out halfway outside um, the seat. Place one on the top and one in the inside. Now delete the seat, delete the rod. Select all with your screwdriver tool and unanchor. Now, right now I don't have a candy. I'm just going to prove to you that you don't need the candy. So just go ahead and go in first person. And you guys can just go over to the waterfall. And we're just going to come over here. And after we pass this waterfall right here, we can actually reload our thing. So we're actually going to reload it right here. And there we go. 
and we're just gonna come back right over here and we're just gonna repeat the process so again what you guys want to do when you're back up your plot what you guys want to do is go ahead and delete the bottom hinge and then the middle hinge and then this hinge right here now enter it um facing this way you guys do not want to enter it facing that way or else it'll launch you up now just enter it like that now then what you want to do after you sit in the chair select all anchor and then delete the portal delete the cake and delete the seat now go ahead and save and reload so i'm going to save and reload so now in total we did two dupes and you guys actually have to do seven dupes in total so you guys have five more left so just repeat the process each time for five more times. Anyways, I'll see you guys after you guys have finished duping. Don't skip to the next step until you after you've done this five times. So guys, I just completed a total of seven dupes. That was a pretty um, long jump cut, but anyways, I just completed my seven dupes. So now we're just gonna go ahead and go to the next step. So basically, after you guys have done your seven dupes, your bridge is really, really long. So if you were to actually come in here and try to control it, it would actually not be able you would you wouldn't be able to go through portals so for example if i just placed a um portal right here and right there and we just had a white thing right here i don't think i would be able to go in it as you, as you guys can see this is a really um bad glitch that um can happen to you guys so we're just gonna fix it so all we have to do is basically make our afk grinder less long so guys what you guys want to do is just make a platform with a jet and basically we're just gonna fly until the top we're gonna use the red jet to fly until the top and when the red jet runs out of fuel then it's a good place to stop because that's basically where the end is this is basically just a way to measure your afk grinder on the perfect size basically everyone uses this if once your red jet runs out then it'd be a perfect um place to delete so we're just gonna go ahead and go up there so you guys can basically do anything just go ahead and scale some stuff up and scale this and just make a little platform you guys get the gist of it go ahead and get a jet i'm gonna get my jet right here so i'm gonna just place actually place a um car seat place a car seat please and just place it right there and then go ahead and actually get a jet so it has to be the red jet it cannot be the purple jet it has to be the red jet because it's just a way of measuring things now go ahead and delete this bottom thing right here and basically what you guys want to do is just jump into the seat by the way my anchor block was on the whole time so that's why it's floating so now we're just going to come over here and just get a normal jetpack right here and we're just going to come in here and sit inside the seat so you guys have to be on alert because when this actually runs out you have to stop and delete everything so what you guys want to do is unanchor this and then unanchor the seat right here and now the last step is to unanchor this wood block but right when you do it you guys have to activate the jet or else it'll be crooked it's not supposed to actually hit the floor it's just supposed to go straight up so once you unanchor this on mobile click the red target and if you're on pc just click f as soon as possible so right here i'm just going to unanchor and click the jet and there we go just like that that's just a smooth thing i just did it as quick as possible so now we're just going to wait until the red jet actually runs out of fuel and I'll just get back to you. Make sure to be alert guys. And there we go guys, our thing actually ran out. So what you guys want to do is span blocks on here. You guys can actually sit on it. Um, I actually was supposed to be up there. Okay, there we go. So that is a good place to delete. So I'm actually going to come over here and delete this part like that. Then what you guys actually want to do is go ahead and get a jet. So I'm going to just get my jet right here. So I'm just going to place it on this thing like that. And there we go. So now what you guys actually want to do is go ahead and get a switch. So I'm going to just get a switch. And while you're on this thing, okay. Yep, while you're on this thing. So I'm going to just get my switch right over here. Where is my switch? And it's right here. So just place it right next to you. You guys are just going to click it once you delete this part. So I'm just going to um go right here um that is a reverse switch oops okay there we go so as you guys can see it's connected to the jet so now what you guys want to do is select all with your screwdriver tool and unanchor and there we go now click the switch and the jet should be flying off now all you have to do is just make it fly off or you can just delete it early and there we go it is falling down into the void and this is a good place where it's cut off so there we go so now what you guys want to do is just delete the switch, delete the block, and then just head back down. And we're going to delete our jetpack right before we save. And we're just going to come down right here. And there we go. So now what you guys want to do, delete your jetpack and go ahead and, and save. And there we go. So now you guys can actually control it. Let's give it a little test right here. Um, 
let's go right here in the seat and let's see if we can go through a portal so let's see and we can actually go inside a portal like this as you guys can see now we can finally enter a portal i'm gonna just reload and let's get on to the next step so the next step that you guys want to do is actually delete this portal the top portal by the way that um was at the top is actually already deleted since we flew it out of the world with the top so now what you guys actually want to do is come over here and come over with the obsidian block most of you guys probably still have obsidian blocks left so we're just gonna be using it so just come over here and go right onto here as you guys can see um right here and then you guys want to go six so one two three four five six just like that then what you guys want to do is scale down one time on this thing and then we're actually going to go underground now so just scale this down until 42 studs and right here we're just going to go right here that's 41 studs so let me just do 42 and there we go 42 studs so after this what you guys want to do is actually place a seat down here so i'm just going to place a seat right over here and we're actually going to rotate it and make sure it's right on the end of the pole now what you guys want to do is go ahead and get your portal and place it right on the seat so you guys can actually land in it and we're just going to place it right over here so that's basically where we're going to be placing our bridge and there we go as you guys can see it's right in the center so we're just going to be placing a portal right there so then so if we walk into there with the actual bridge we would we would actually go down here and sit in the seat i'm actually adjust this and just move it right over here so it's easier to get into so now the final thing that you guys need to build is your conveyor so we're just going to be making a simple jet conveyor so go ahead and get a um, titanium rod place it down onto the side now go ahead and get a obsidian block and we're actually going to make it go this way to the left so basically come over here and just go right here scale it out until 15 studs like that scale it out one time and scale it out one time then go ahead and get a jet so um it can be the red jet most of you guys probably have the red jet so we're just going to use it right here like that as you can see, it's binding to that switch, so we don't want that. So click on the switch with the binding tool and click on the jet. And as you guys can see, it unbinds it. Now just go ahead and get a car seat. Go ahead and place it right here. And as you guys can see, it's binded to the jet. We're basically done with the tutorial. So go ahead and save your AFK grinder. And wait, before you save, um, there's one last step to do, which is actually to place the portal on this AFK grinder. So just go up to the top right here and just place it at the furthest distance and paint it white. So basically, you're going to get teleported from here to there. Um, so if you go through the white portal when you're in the spawn, then you're actually going to get teleported to the um, conveyor. So we are finally done with the AFK grinder tutorial. So let's go ahead and set it up. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and go in the seat. Place a cake halfway in your body and delete the seat, delete the rod, select all and unanchor with the screwdriver tool. Then hop into the portal and there we go. As you guys can see, we just placed it down. So now what you guys want to do is just place an anchored seat or anything, just anything with anchor block. Go ahead and place it, delete the portal, delete the cake and delete the seat. And you guys are going to fall into the void and die. And right over here is our conveyor. So all you guys want to do is just delete the titanium rod and there we go, sit in the seat. And go ahead and what you guys want to actually do is select this um, block on the bottom. And after you have it selected, activate the jet and you have to anchor it super quickly before it hits over there. So we're just going to go activate the jet and anchor it. And there we go. We just got it right there. So now just delete the jet. And basically we're just going to scale this into the um, thingy. This is the glitched block. So if I scale it out right here, as you can see, it's right here. It just brings you over here. And basically, if you connect it to the bridge, it'll actually make the bridge move too. So we're actually going to come over here and scale this under the ground where the bridge is. So we're just going to come over here, scale it down, scale it in. And we're just going to scale it down into the bridge right over here. Um, we're just going to scale it. And we got it. Um, if it's connected to the bridge, you guys are going to go. It now the last step is just to activate the switch over here to actually activate the spinner. So we're just going to come over here and activate the switch and there we go so now you guys have a fully auto um afk farm so just go ahead and reset character and you guys are good to go to afk so we're just gonna grind some gold so um basically if you just come over here you respawn and you just have to wait for the thing to get your body and as you guys can see we are under here and there we go we can go fully afk and as you guys can see we are not moving to the side and since we did our conveyor correctly no problems at all and we're just gonna go ahead and go over to the end so 
As you guys can see, the red jet is a tiny bit slower, but it does the job. Now, you guys may not know this, but a thing about underground AFK farms is that it usually gets stopped by the washing machine stage, which is right here. And basically, I placed it right over here, so basically, you wouldn't get stuck right here. That's where you would usually get stuck, but since I placed it a little more to the left, it doesn't get stuck. So we're just gonna cruise to the end. We're just gonna wait until we can actually get our gold. And we're gonna go right to the end like this. So all you have to do now is just delete this um, platform right here to actually drop down in the void. And now every single time you die, it'll give you gold. So as you guys can see, we're gonna get our gold right here. And we're gonna get 180 gold like that. Basically we get all the gold except the chest. Sadly, this AFK grinder does not um, go into the chest. But if this video actually hits 2,000 likes, I'll actually do a tutorial on that, on how to put, um, get the gold in the chest. So anyways, you guys are done with the tutorial, and please leave questions down below, and you can comment anything you guys want. Anyways, goodbye.